Good morning. How the devil are you doing this fine day at me? I'm tired, bitterly disappointed with the West Ham result from yesterday, but delighted to be back with you all this morning. In fact, relieved to be back to you this morning. Uh, 20 seconds before I played that intro, we had no internet connection here, which uh, keeps it interesting. Uh, now, now we have got an interest. Uh, now we have got an internet connection. Um, time to play that intro and get this show on the road. <laughs> Welcome to The Breakfast Show. I'm your host, Mark Anthony. It's Monday, the 4th of October, and as that ever-present guy just said, welcome to The Breakfast Show. I am your host, Mark Anthony. In today's show, Caterpillar gets set to pulverise the competition. Doosan is joining the Hydrogen Club. A Fawley stack has a date with destiny. And finally, our industry survey is now closed. And the results are in. Uh, we'll get to all of that in just a second. But first, let's see who, who among the rich and the shameless is celebrating a birthday on this day of days. And it's many happy returns to actor and general gun enthusiast Charlton Heston, to designer Terence Conran, and to interview the vampire author Anne Rice, to the gorgeous Susan Sarandon, to pet shop boy Chris Lowe, and to the permanently undressed Dakota Johnson. Many happy returns to them one and all. Uh, today also marks the birthday of actress Alicia Silverstone, who is probably best known for the movie Clueless. However, in my house, she is known as my son's co-star, in the movie Stormbreaker. Now, admittedly, my son was only an extra. I was on screen for roughly three seconds. But for those three seconds, he was in a movie with Alicia Silverstone, Mickey Rourke, Ewan McGregor, Damian Lewis, and Stephen Fry. You might recall that back at the end of July, we brought you footage of the latest explosive demolition event at the Fawley Power Station down in Southampton. Here's a very quick reminder with the worst timed ferry you're ever likely to see. That chimney you just saw there has now been earmarked for demolition and that 200 metre chimney is scheduled to come down on the 31st of October, 7am in the morning. Uh, most of the power station has already been demolished um, to make way for 1,500 new homes together with some commercial and community facilities. In a statement, the site owners of Fawley Waterside said that this, that this date and time is subject to change and is dependent on suitable weather conditions. Um, the statement goes on to say from 5.30am an exclusion zone will be enforced around the site and surrounding area. Sentries and the police will mark the exclusion zone boundary and temporarily restrict as, uh, access. Uh, for health and safety reasons, there will be no designated viewing area, and we discourage anyone from visiting the nearby area to watch. Axoft and Svantec are your high-end partners for noise, vibration, dust, and air quality systems, sensors, and software. To find out more, visit axoft.co.uk or call 01234 639 550. Now, staying in Southampton, plans for 47 new student studios and a ground floor cafe at a site once occupied by a NatWest bank on Southampton High Street have been given the green light. The building, which has been empty for years, is set to be demolished to make way for a new five to six storey building. 
In 2019, Civic Chiefs approved proposals for a 97-room hotel at the site, and now the fresh proposals for the student accommodations have been given the go-ahead instead, by the sound of things. Uh, the new plans also include an extra floor above the nearby building that is currently occupied by stores No Limits and Coral on the ground floor. We recently brought you news that the mighty Caterpillar had upgraded its comprehensive lineup of demolition pulverizers. Well, now the company has gone one step further and unveiled a new video that shows those new video, those new pulverizers in action. Let's take a look. There's some power in them there, Jules. The race for a hydrogen-powered future just heated up with the news that Doosan has formed a new division called Doosan H2 Innovation. According to the company, the newly established company will take a central role in the group's development of solid oxide fuel cells, or SOFCs. SOFCs are apparently are third-generation fuel cells that can offer longer lifespans and greater efficiency than conventional models. SOFCs also have a competitive edge in price as they use nickel as a catalyst instead of uh, platinum to generate the electricity. While Doosan H2 Innovation leads R&D efforts, Doosan Fuel Cell will be in charge of the production and sale of SOFCs. Doosan Fuel Cell aims to establish a production line of SOFCs starting 2024. Uh, you'll know we've already previously reported that both JCB and Volvo and probably a lot, lot, other, lot of other manufacturers as well are working on hydrogen power as a replacement for diesel. And it's going to be a race that will be fascinating to watch as it all unfolds. The Miller GT series heralds a new era of unrivaled power and cutting-edge intelligent coupler technology, increasing job site safety, machine versatility and productivity. It's the added versatility that you need at the value you can afford. To find out more, visit millergroundbreaking.com. On Friday last week, we closed our survey that looked at the subcontracting of demolition works by elite level demolition firms to non elite level companies. Um, and now I am delighted to bring you the results of that survey in the form of a video.
do find it interesting that the standard response uh, that the respondents are apparently most relaxed about is the one that's internationally recognised and which actually takes probably the longest to achieve. Anyway, the findings and the fallout from the findings from that survey are discussed in greater detail on the uh, comment article that is currently at the top of the demolitionnews.com website. My guess is this is this discussion is far from over. Uh, we'd love to get your take on it, actually. So while the survey itself is now closed, the conversation will continue. Just drop me a line with your thoughts. Uh, I'd love to hear what you have to th- what you have to say on the subject. Sorry to interrupt the guy with the funny glasses, but if you're enjoying this video, please hit the like button as it helps our channel. Or, better still, share this video with a friend or a colleague. Thank you. Right, back to Beardy. Right, that pretty much wraps up today's show. Uh, I'm going to roll the outro in just a second before hopping over into the chat to see what you're all up to today. Uh, I'll be back here tomorrow morning, same time, same place, for more of this old stuff and nonsense. But until then, stay safe, look after yourself, your family, your friends and your colleagues. And thanks for watching.